Hello everyone, this is your captain, Fantastic World speaking. Welcome aboard the HMS Fantastic Voyages here in the Sunless Sea in Lovecraft Country. And okay, we have some decisions to make. Now, one of the first things I was considering was of course replacing the ship. Now, one of you in the comments suggested that I tackle the Lampard class cutter rather than try to work my way towards the Orsid class Corvette. Now, the biggest problem with this one is that while it does have a veil and mirrors bonus, it actually has a lower hold capacity, and we that would actually reduce our range because our primary fueling station is London. So essentially, our radius around London is, unfortunately, our, you know, pretty much determines how far we can go. We can only go half as much as the fuel because we can't count on being able to have more fuel out there. We know only about three or four places we can purchase it at double the price. So the radius is, like I said, half the fuel that we can carry. If we take this, um, the Lampard class, like I said, we were going to, all of our fuel takes up cargo space. Therefore, we only would have, say, 20, and I would be able to carry much for, uh, much for cargo. And, well... Cargo is going to be something that we're going to have to probably concern ourselves with. Now, the Corvette, the one I've been aiming for, is got not only a much more increased hull, but in hold capacity is precisely the same, which means that uh, essentially we're going to beat that. But it also has a slight armor bonus. Now, um, the Merchant Cruiser, of course, would be the one if you really wanted hold capacity. It's 120, but it's a veil thing. And it also own, it has... I love the fact that it has... Um, deck and an aft but not a forward gun it's kind of funny but the thing is the corvette also has a forward and deck weapon so that means that we can probably do that now the auxiliary is something i'm not quite sure what it is probably find it eventually do we even know yeah we have one here so obviously we have a part of it so yeah but the thing is of course is that we can as i pointed out also just sell our damn book might as well okay so with that and someone suggested getting a couple of flares for which take up cargo unfortunately which is interesting but we're only going to be carrying those two. The rest of it, like I said, has to be for range. Now, we're still in the problem being is that if we get that ship, we only have the ability to buy six fuel, which is not going to be much. So the thing is, we should probably go out and have one last trip and hopefully make a profit on this one. Now, we know by purchasing, for example, mushroom wine, we can sell it for two per. That's just only with 20 for 10 spaces or possibly 40 for two spaces. That's not a lot. If you make more from dropping off and just chilling out at the... Uh, chips now the thing is about that let's see we i am considering going into where is it dark spectre alcohol we can burn one point of fuel favor for uh fuel and we have a lot of sure probably in a journal we have a lot of favor with them i kind of still trying to figure out where this goes assignment oh this is good assignment for cheery man the last constable the adam the commission the empire of the hands far to the east um he has a plan hmm. tomb colonists what precisely is their problem i love that seven volumes of romantic literature and pigment isle yeah we have here somewhere but anyways these are keeping track of where we're gonna go but yeah we have to think about Eesh, not sure what that means. But, yeah, we have to think about what exactly we're going to do to try to make a profit. Now, one of the things that we're kind of doing well is selling our stories and such. And, yeah, if you remember from last time, unfortunately, one of our sources for stories is going to be kind of gone as we lost the sisters. Except, of course, we, keep, we kept one. Now, this is interesting. Somebody suggested that I want to consider purchasing a townhouse. Now, um... The problem with that is that it's a thousand right off the ship thing, and yeah, I'm going to be holding on to the idea of getting the, getting the, um, Corvette. Corvette, by the way, originally meant a type of boat, small, fast warship, but, um, yeah, these days it's a car. Now, the question is, like I said, if we burn off some of our favor, which is like at 12, um, with the Admiralty, we could definitely get more than enough fuel, then just purchase a little... I mean, we'd be purchasing three supplies-ish. Problem being is that... Now, what we could do, if I recall properly... Hang on a second. Let's put this in pause mode. If you recall way back from last week... Um, Yeah, down here we have, I believe, Smelting Isles, the Mangrove College, which will produce a interest... Which will produce a um, six... Supplies when we get to it. Now, one of the things you might want to consider is 
getting some of the um getting well i also want to check out and see whether or not this fuel ship will give us something for our um that's we also i'm uh for the recent news we have because we did notice that it's an option but didn't have any at the time now i'm thinking of just taking the ship out for a quick run to the z port to uh, salt lions and back and possibly dealing with the cruiser here because i think the salt lions i think we've done that we've gone past the point where we can receive more uh, where we can get another cargo i might be wrong we'll blow about three fuel and finding out um yeah, necess that's necessary. We'll just have to deal with it. We'll be getting at least a couple of uh, 20 from uh, the um, port report here. And then back again. So, And there might be a ship or an obstacle here. I've noticed there's one running about. We can see whether or not it's within our range to destroy it. Because we may not have to repair this ship if we're just planning on um, creating it out. Because I know we don't lose any money for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the six fuel, six supplies. Under We're under-equipped at the moment, but what we can do is just launch all right this could be a bad idea maybe a good idea the only way you're going to find out is you're going to test your theories now one of the things we can do i'm thinking we don't have to worry about the light as long as we're in with the uh actual light um the actual light posts as it were right here because we're just going to skip I me mean, it's we're, it's not being lit now yeah i believe we have recent news so we're going to head in the light ship here we're actually going to catch the beam when it comes in, and we're going to see whether or not we can trade in that recent news for something interesting. And if we Terra gets really bad because of what we're doing, we can just, of course, really get drunk at the uh, at the docks. All right, light ship. Speak to the crew. They long for home. Yep, we got recent news. All right, so we've lost one recent news, lost five Terra, and have one Z story. Now the stories do add up, so we now know what we get for news. We get, like I said, five terror loss, which is good. And notice that we burned almost no fuel. If we really wanted to be able to go back and forth with the damn paper and just burn all of our terror off, probably cost us about two fuel to get rid of all of that. 26, but yeah. Let's um continue. Yeah, and we still have the ability to purchase fuel, but again, we're like right out of sight of London, so let's just take off again. Now, I will, of course, um, keep the light on when we're going in between these points. But the actual purpose of, you know, marker buoys like this would be, in fact, to transport. Um, to be able to allow us to transport in established sea lanes. So, I don't know if that's actually part of the game or not. But it's interesting that, of course, if you just follow these, we get to the salt lion. I wanted to actually check it out. Just stick one time when we have the fuel to burn and do so. But I'm probably going to say the Zeal report, it probably, yeah, the salt lines is probably exhausted for cargo. If it's not, we'll definitely be able to get that ship at least. All right. All right. Nope, we can do it. So if you carry Spinkstone to London, we're going to get 20 units of spare cargo and we'll compile a fort report. Okay. That's, of course, one shot. And, of course, we will take in this much. That hopefully will get us more than enough for what we need. Good. All right, so then we launch again and just head right back quick as we can. You know what? I could go down there and pick a fight, but why? We have what we want. Oh yeah, somebody else pointed out that there isn't a bug. The uh, Veil's bonuses are from my crew. Remember, especially like this guy, the Albino Thinker. I don't actually feel bad about taking him because I think um, it reduced the some aspect of the colony and we've not been great for that colony. I'm afraid my strategies are usually too aggressive. But yeah, fuels, okay. We spend about a little less than 10 when it comes to the fuel. And once we get into... Mm-hmm. Home waters. Yeah, we're, look at this. Quick trip. Do, 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 do. Now, let's see. Do we want to burn the recent news? All right. Great. But we're not stopping. It does, however, mean that... I wonder if that actually affects anything in London itself. Let's see how much we get for this and whether or not it's enough to make me feel safe about getting the new vehicle. Vessel. Ship. Whatever you want to call it. Oh. 
Okay, um, sure. Yeah, it's like, go ahead, check the place out. Okay, messages. Something's changed. Somebody wants to sign on. That's all for now. We have another day, free day. Yeah, okay, so we'll just burn off the um, port report that we have. And you got a quick 20 and a one fuel. So basically, you know, a small profit on that. Really enough to make it worth anything. But then we roll over. We should have automatically, by the way, dropped off the Sphinx Stones. It's... Oh no. Deliver Sphinx Stone to a smiling woman, elegant hand, and a jokical clown places a gloved hand in your arm. Are you waiting for the ministry men? They won't be coming, but I have a proposition for you. Uh. Okay, that happened. Her skin glows with health. Her smile is wise and merciless. Oh, this sounds really bad. The stone's full of old memories. The bazaar has been drinking them. He nods at the spires that loom over London, the dark limbs that sprawl in the streets. I have a better destination. Help us bring light here below, and we will reward you, reward you richly. The reward, reward, light. These are happy words. Refuse. Those bright... Bright eyes, the unmistakable mark of the Dawn Machine. None understand the Dawn Machine, but all fear it. Who knows his motivations are, or hers? You know what? I'm feeling dangerous. Brilliant smile. Captain, thank you. You're clear of eye and clear of spirit. Bring the South Drinkstone South to the Grand Geode. It was the Admiral Base once. Now it's something wonderful. She's warm the cheek. Let's see you soon. Okay, so... We don't have money. Um... Rusty gentleman, Captain, wait, she gave an earring, didn't you? She serves a certain power, a bright one, but not a friendly one. I have a counterproposal. Will you listen? Oh, this is the Watchman all over again. Right, so we have the Watchman, who's a power of merciless light. Now, yeah, remember, Alexis Kennedy wrote this before Cult of Simulator. The same ideas, now, I may not need be, may not need just be ideas, were percolating through his mind, that of merciless light, that of, you know, order which has no compassion, which, imperialism, of course, um... Notice I didn't say patriarchy, I said imperialism, because the difference between the two. Because uh, a corrupt order can have any master, female, male, entity beyond our comprehension, so long as they simply want to impose their view of how you should exist, they are fallen order. Anyways, there's, um, okay, okay, we'll listen to you, dude. Tired eyes, shallow skin, he stoops to the clerk and coughs like a miner, but that frock coat is the finest cabaret and it was cut, my name is Penstock. Okay, take it far away. We'll tell you where. It'll be paid. If you've already arranged with the bright-eyed sequence to take the geo, this will cause you to regain. Reject his plea. He smells of ammonia and sadness. You go somewhere he does not you want should go somewhere he does not smell of those things. Alright. So No. I'm gonna go with her for the moment, just to see what it is. If you change your mind, I'll still be here. Please, it was ours. She is so sick with stories. Help me her. Okay, so he's a representative of the bazaar, basically the status quo. In other words, the bazaar, Sphinx Stones contains memories. What does that mean? It means that, remember, essence is... God, we're right back to Book of Hours here when it comes to explaining things. Okay, you can have the essence within an object that contains um, spiritual information. Just why do you think people use crystals and such um, objects? The way they enchanted um, Athame or... Um, other tools such as the cauldron if you're into the uh, wiccan side of things and of course ritual circles and such each one of those is imbued with a specific uh how do i put this specific energetic coded memory basically in a book of uh, hours the actual titular books as pointed out are memories that are contained within paper but you can actually contain memories within any object so long as you have this spiritual forthrall to do so in fact, and unlocking the raw potential natural energies and stories, basically of the dawn time in which the world was created in this way, or the underworld in this case, that's a lot of power. And of course, we just you know dig them up and burn them for burn them for fossil fuels. Humans, anyways. Rose Market, hire on more crew. Put your ship in dry dock, a new recruit. All right. Haunted Doctor. How many doctors do I need? Genial Magicians? I can do some engines of good. Not quite the engineer. Difficult to credit. But is it? But here's my references. Increases veils and mirrors. What's my current one guy doing? 
Oh, uh, where is my... Which one is... Ah, uh, right. She's got Veils of 6, Ancient Power of 100. This one will increase Veils and Mirrors. And this one will increase Hearts and Pages. You believe increase Hearts and Iron. Okay, we're keeping you because if I need to shoot something, I want to be able to just shoot it. You guys, between you two, are giving me... Ooh. We, ha we don't have a gunner, do we? Oh, you're the gunner. Never mind. Yeah, 8 and 6. So I'm thinking, actually, we'll gauge the Genial Magician... Is going to cost us 50. Hmm. 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 Each of them has a story. I can use a story to do this. Or... It's so easy just to spend and how hard to just get. Anyways, I got to think about that. All right. So, provisioners. Again, we're going to need... We're going to burn about three for the Admiral Lee. But yeah, I'm thinking of heading south anyways. Because... We've got a lot of um, empty space down there to check out. Mm. So either we go heavy east or we go heavy south. If we're going to go heavy south, with I'm smelling money. So, yeah. But I'm going to grab, probably. Let's see. Cargo space is only 34, though. Oh, right. we got a problem here in that. We still have her. Flares, two. Shouldn't have gotten the flares. Steep engine and the sphinx stone. Problem is, we don't have a lot of um, range with this. So, the question being, you kind of screwed, we've kind of gotten ourselves an interesting scenario here. Now, the thing is, I'm going to probably grab five fuel and four supplies. Because we only have, that's we only have six, three and three, oof, eight and eight. Hmm, can't throw the conch thing overboard, and we don't want to go without supplies. So the question being, what do we do here? I'm not sure what the auxiliary is. Put that in there? No. Yeah. We definitely want the uh, better ones in place. I'm actually Tale of Terror, Diplomatic Agent. We got a lot of things to think about here. Oh my god. That's the Sister and the Witch profile, by the way, if you're familiar with Cultist Simulator. This is all getting a little weird. We're getting kind of overwhelmed at this point. Um, Honestly, I don't know what to do. We've got so much stuff that needs to go, and we need to... Um, oh, at least we can get our morning paper. One less terror, one supply. Well, that's good, but of course, again, our hold's now at 35 because we're overbooked at this word. Now, I just want a freaking storage facility, and I don't think the house would do that, unfortunately. All right, so what I'm thinking we're going to do is this. We need to get rid of the Sphinx Stone. That has to be the primary thing. So this means that we have to get the south along the coast. Now, we only have one stop here at the harbor. We could... We, what we can do is you can grab some fuel here as the supplies. Basically start hitting Quaker's Island and the harbor here to grab fuel as we go down. Going to be kind of iffy, but that's what we got. Now, of course, we will reduce our terror by hitting the light ship, then Quaker's Haven, then the harbor, and then we continue downwards as far as we can. So, what happens then is that we will purchase these shops. Fuel, okay, so, hmm, because we can also buy supplies, but that's slightly cheaper. All right, eight and eight, we are currently fully booked. We need to head south, and we need to do it quickly. I'm not going to get any, uh, get any uh, thing on the ship yet, but okay, so we're probably kind of crazy to do this, but we're doing it anyways. He who dares has a better chance of winning. I mean, I'm not going to say you instantly do a lot of... There's a lot of people who dared and, you know, managed to help fill a uh, gravestone. I mean, a uh, mass grave, as it were. But, you know... Otherwise, you're just kind of sitting around waiting for entropy to claim you. Uh, very philosophical at the moment. I mean, the thing is, yeah, I can tell Kennedy wrote this. Same sort of principles he was going to develop that. And like I said, I don't think a lot of his stuff is straight out of his head. He's definitely an occultist, and he might be actually inspired. Which means that inspiration means you take in... Um, stories are interesting. We're getting quite a few of them. You take in... the spirit. 
inhale spirit. Those are the actual root words. And that they inspire you, they give you information, a la an oracle, in order to do so. And a lot of people are that without even knowing it. Some of them do know it. I know a number of magician artists. Okay, hang on. Get this done. Well, hunger is going to go down a bit. Dissect it. So that will give us a um, some more information. We butcher for supplies, but the thing is, I don't think we have space for supplies yet. We haven't yet eaten. So, dissect it. 31. Oh my god. Oh, didn't work. Okay, we're not going to need Mutton Island. Yeah, we're definitely not going over there. Looks like we just managed to avoid that ship, too. Take a quick tour over here. Ship may have sunk, I see. Because we could... We have an encounter. Approach... Oh my god. There's something in the air today, a restless breeze. What is this? Is the game moved into... Something has changed. It's probably nothing. Attempt to dock. Harbor is man reinforced with wire and manned with Kerrigan's soldiers. Insulation of heavy artillery. Banners of the Eagle Clan. Honey is great from each mutton island has fallen. Smoggy refugees to the Shepherd Isles. The mist passes is what we need. Okay. Fancy encounter. 55% chance. Coves. Uh, gather report. Report. 37. Okay, we're going to try to lead a rescue attempt just because I'm me and I'm kind of crazy. L a Veil's challenge. The Veil fight pulls up the cove unnoticed by sentries. Came where she's asleep, they did, and I under whisper. Some has managed to make it to the docks or else to the coves. A couple of the lads held the cock and magpie as long as they could. Remy hand through his head and boards. Okay, so we need to get to. Okay, so, right. It's a crisis. And we're not, like, going to submit ourselves to Imperial. Yeah, we, um, we need to leave. Well, you know, my life has become more interesting. I think something has ha changed, all right. But at least we're, we're a smuggler vessel. Let's just, let's just call a spade a spade here. So, we're losing ports this close, and yeah. I hate to say it, but the, uh... Navy, not in the greatest shape at the moment. Also, Shepard Isle better have some fuel. Hmm. But the come in, it's better to come in Shepard's Isle to the north to get to the harbor. Alright, Thornwell Croft, and yeah. Croft, by the way, I believe is kind of a... Or is it a... Not a Gaelic, but an English word, old English word for an extended farm complex. Usually controlled by one or more families. Hi. Did you know there's a war going on? Oh, we fed the refugees, too. Of course, there are no actual... Oh, my God. Pitnik, Tails, Tails. Where's the... Deliver it. 100 Echoes. Alright. Refugee to me is duck. Step from your dock. It will have to do one says. We'll manage another reply. So one of them shakes your hand. Bless you for a good deed, Captain. May you never go hungry. It's an old mutton island saying. Kind of... Yeah. Alright. So first thing to do is grab the port report while we're here. Awesome. And we're going to picnic. Error is at like 23. This should, with five Echoes, be more than enough. All right, we're down three terror, five echoes. Eh, not the greatest expenditure, but it is less of an issue. Uh, ask us any tale. All right, so that was the thing that happens here. Let's get to the shop. Now we have, yeah, we've got crew, cargo. We need fuel. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to make it to the south or not. Now, the thing is, is that Fuel currently at um, six. 
can bring in we want to get a couple of cargo spots open um hmm Have to figure out where we're going next. If we're going to try to do our thing, we need to get to the south. That's going to require more fuel. Alright, so the supplies we're going to let run because we can scavenge along the way. Let's go. The war going on, but um, can't really help that. Not our job to fight it. I guess we're heading to Abbey Rock and then heading south from there. Didn't actually use the recent news, so we can use that to burn a little bit more terror. And I will take every component that we can at this point. There we go, Abbey Rock. There are two friendly contacts, and there's another way to get some supplies. Trade supplies. Interesting thought. Pile of report. Uh, I have no recent news. Suggest to a scarred sister she might put a home here. There are neighbors of a kind hunter's keep. Perhaps she'll find some peace here, or at least a way to keep occupied. The more a wary welcome. The muscular prioress, the Abbas's lieutenant, comes down to inspect the potential novus. They speak quietly. The prioress bells laughter. The scarred sister's obvious of comfort. At last, they return. They've agreed to give me a chance. The sister says, "If I can learn to fight, thank you for bringing me here. It might be what I want. Goodbye and take this. I won't need it anymore." It's a porcelain flute decorated with a design of flowing grasses. Canite work. The sister, you think, is close to tears behind her bandages. She braces you briefly and come on the door seals behind her. Ah, Currents, acquaintance, previous fate, qualities, now new sisters. You know, I think this is the best ending. I really do. Yeah, I should probably speak to her. I can't. One supply, one muter salt. We need to get more stuff. Anyways, you might also consider killing that crab over there for the uh, supplies. Like I said, this is going to be one <coughs> pre pre kingdom. Now, now, okay. Excuse me. Ish. I think anything else we can do. Offer a gift. Okay, so... I think we did the best thing here. Really do. Honestly, I'm getting more involved with this game than I thought I would. Anyways, what we need to do is we need to... I don't like the fact that something was just under our um, thing there. Okay. Full power of the engines. Now we're good. Let's kill this for supplies. Because if you're... Old... Oh, don't tell me it's gone. Oh, there it is. Let's get... You ready? Like I said, we're here to scavenge. Butcher it for supplies. We lost 36 hunger. Okay, I thought it would be an extra supply, but... You know what? It'll work. No, I actually don't know what this one is over here. Probably not destination, but it could be. Good lord, it was, this is just hovering out of sight. Station 3. Isn't this one of the ones we wanted to go? Depot A. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, so we got a thing going here. We may not be going quite far as south as we thought we would. And something will happen when we reach here. We may infer Station 1 and Station 2. We may conjecture Station 4. Alright. Telescope and store might be best to get a look at distance. Machinery hums behind steel walls up the hill. There are visible outlines of warehouses building with spire, but lamps are low where they burn at all, and your ship's the only one in the harbor. Uh, we need a... We pass the walls and it says deliveries. Search for signs. Oh, there's... Let's take a close look here. Church or something else. You stand on the high point of a ship and look to the shore. There's a steeple building the horizon, by far the better thing in sight. No cross marks on top of it, no symbol you recognize. Alright, so let's check out the gate. There's no way in. The metal is steel hard, the ice cold to touch, attempts to chisel and cross with fear. Perhaps you bring your ship's guns, ship's guns to bear, but no. If you return to certain delivery, the gate will open. You'll know if you find it. Percentage of the visitors. No evidence. 
Uh, failed. Okay. Looking for any little sign. That's, yeah. Look, walk the quays looking for any little sign that might just show what sort of ship stock here, what they deliver. But you find nothing conclusive, not even much of a smear of pitch or damp footprint of any ship at yours has been tied up here recently. You've left no evidence. Obviously, nothing to buy. All right. So let's pause so we're not losing any food or getting terror. We now know Station 3 is here. Did we go to the Mangrove College for the extra supplies? Hmm. Maybe, but I don't think we can purchase anything. Yeah, we're going to be heading. This is all going to be kind of weird. We got to make sure we keep a really close eye on our fuel, too. You need to be able to get back to London, and we don't have one of our stops that I was expecting on the way back. Let's hit Mangrove, I think. Um, check the hold. Yeah. By the time we get there, we should be able to get more supplies. And if necessary, we can sell them back to the um, Abyss for 20 a pop, which is an interesting concept making that run. Hmm. Still trying to figure out what we should be doing. Um, we still need to get rid of the Sphinx Stone. And who, we need to take Creator Corsair's Forest, wherever the hell that is. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Heading to Mangrove. Then what happens is we'll circle, bound, we'll circle back to the coast from Mangrove in order to be able to uh, see whether or not... And then head north, see whether or not... We hit our target. Otherwise, we may have to end up crawling back to, uh... From sea. All through the place. The Song of Drowndies. Oh, yay. We're going to basically veer off a bit in this direction. As we're heading down, just to... Just to see if there's anything to the north here. Mists of Sea of Autumn get in our eyes. Doesn't look like it. Except, you know, unwanted company. Yeah, yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. Hmm. I think we also got a secret. Good. That means we'll be able to get those supplies we want. And we're going to hide in here. Alright. Eat, drink, and be merry. You're not hospital. The whole shrine's bustling the fruit. Reach up and balls your hand. Pick it up. Gather supplies. That's what we want. Lock. Unlock. Compiler report. Excellent. Hunger quality is gone. Excellent. Gained one supply off the bat right there. That's our, um... Four. So even if we grab those six, we'll be down. On, and like I said, fuel's our usual issue here. Hmm. So do we actually want to... And our terror is very low. Ships come and go. Let's see what we got. Beach coming. Ships come and go in the Mangrove Cove often secret. Much What must have flung overboard? Driftwood. Small surface, just bottle glass. Something glinting. Remnants of a shipwreck. All right. Let's go. Oh, eight fuel. Oops. How much are over are we four? Sorry, we gotta lose the flares. <laughs> and the engine. Hmm. The engine's worth more though. Gained eight fuel? That's exactly what we needed. Huh. Can't take them off, they're a person. Okay, so we have eight fuel, which basically means that we have the range we want. Or fuel anyways, but yeah, we got to um We've got to take care of two of these. And yeah, we got to give up the engine. Hmm. And one of our, uh, one of our supplies, because the fuel we're not going to be able to get. All right. All right, then. We are done. Unfortunate, but necessary. Now, we still have to get rid of that damn stuff. All right. To the Wispways. We are done here. Okay. <sighs> Really weird that we got what we wanted, and yet it turned out not to work out so well. Um, yeah. Let's head out. Our life is kind of weird. You know what? I'm gonna try to slip away while he's grounded there. We got the fuel we need, so I guess we're headed out. Hmm. 
question is, someplace near the south or its coast or the whatever, the Brotherhood of Light or whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find out they're creepy, terrible people. But frankly, did we found anybody who's not creepy and terrible? I mean, at least the Admiral is quite open about being kind of a monster in that, you know, how do I put this? He, he represents violence of authority. And he's not actually going to... Did we find what we're looking for? Because there's something glowing here. This is all kind of interesting. And yeah, we should definitely check this place out. Uh, yeah, we. Oh, whoa, we gotta come on the other side, though. Easier to turn to lower speed. I mean, you can when driving do a slipstream um, when you're doing. If you're really talented and be able to change at high speed with a high degree of, um, shall we say, efficiency. But if you get it wrong, yeah, there's a reason why there's so many accident reports in the. Uh, well, I could have come to the top, too. But there's so many poor accidents why there's so many um fatal accidents on the road because people think they do better they know they have the skill level better than they currently have why right, humility is a survival instinct what happened fathomless hold lorcan's port named for the enterprising part of the drowndees philosopher cells burn green somewhere below the king awaits fathomless hold like a like an iceberg, like a bizarre master scheme, like the neath itself, most of the hold is invisible. You can only see a tiny portion of the sculpted coral, the rest of it below the surface. The Bad the King's bone, rooms, and aquia, his pearl snares in his dining chambers. Um, trade for drowning pearls? Okay. Porter watches right. She says nothing. Okay. The granted audience to return day is an awestruck. The king is not generous, but occasionally he is fair. Okay, descend. We need something away to was the story. The Bad the King is Lord of the Drowndees, the dead who won't stop swimming. Yep. There's several types of undead spirits like that. Restless dead in the water. In fact, there is a little-known Norse goddess called Run, um, who, Ren? Ren, I think, who, with her husband, Aegean, is below the sea and collects the souls of uh, sailors so they no longer wander and have a place in her halls in the Underlands. Mm. Whatever you might think of that afterlife, it's probably better than hell. One word. One letter. One L. Hell which is the Norse um, land of the dead. Of course, we're going underground, so yeah, land of the dead. Okay, well, we have a Z story. Speak to the porter. The porter has the skin of the shark. She has a drowned in woman's eyes. She is not prepared to look at her hands. Yes, you rest. The story is sufficient. She opens the valves of pearl and permits you to pass into the conduit. Ah, deep one. This is the salt-blown heart of the hold. The Fathom King floats in his throne, a gem-starred bowl of sea stone, the size of a banqueting table. He's wearing a dressing gown, a purple brocade soaked dark with salt water. He leans his chin calmly in his hand. Beneath the surface of the water in his throne, his hidden legion's pulse constantly insistent. I have come to plead for a sailor's life. Um, Intellac? I'm okay. Listen to the camp Cogreen Emissary. He's a visitor from the Tamin clan in a gray row pattern with leaping fish. He describes events of the Khan's court. Skirmishes show that Zebius attacks. Ask a boon. Make it for turn as possible that you receive. We have to decide. We're going to go for the big one. Buy fuel. Great. I'm going to toss more out. Black fire, the King of Tones. Risen from the sea, remember me with its vapors. He smiles directly into your eyes. The audience is over. You return to the surface. Hunch plate. Sculling slaves haul back at a wet coal. Here we are again. <laughs> I wanted fuel. I got fuel. Yeah, we're not doing shore leave with a bunch of dead sailors. So, yeah, we got to basically only take what we can. Um, but that's what we got. Careful what you ask for. Didn't think of any shops, but... Ooh, boy. Let's pause for a moment. And look at the map. Okay, we're currently in the Fathom King's Hold. We can definitely come through here. Remember that. Worse, fuel's not going to be an issue. Food will be at some point. But um, we can actually pop by the Mangrove Co College again. We got the fuel to do it. Um, this is why I didn't want to ship with a lower amount of hold space, by the way. All right, let's get moving. Now, food's going to be our biggest issue. So we, did, we may need to kill something on the way. Hopefully not one of our sailors. Screw it. Let's move as fast as we can. Mm 
don't know what that is, but it looks mean. I don't think I need it either. Okay, so we're going to go about as south as I feel safe in doing so, and then head north. But yeah, food's going to be our biggest issue here. <laughs> like I said, probably head south, then head up north to hug the coast to see whether or not we've um, reached where we want to. I'm trying to avoid entering the fog bank unless absolutely necessary. Oh, cool. If we find something, it'll be... something will happen. That's how I look at it. Okay, so we've got something here. Castle Clare? Uh, which is an actual castle, I think. Metal sharpened sparks. Oh, yeah. So we must high area, but yeah. We should have a secret soon. Mm-hmm. Geode. We have our target. Ooh, beautiful. Wonderful, actually. Imagine an entire facility located within a geode. So we're going to need to locate the port to get in. I thought it would be here, but I didn't see it. All right, Grand Geode. I guess it's that one there. But it didn't actually show the indication of a port. Hmm. Discovered Zelo's town. Yep, there it is. That's the port. And a small island here, too. <laughs> oh, I see it's an internal dock. One of the few places I've seen got that, which is really important if you want to do, keep your ship super safe. The, all these are locked against sea storms. And we also got to see whether or not they've got any, they've got any food for sale. Rangio, naval base with Royal Navy emblems, curiously amended. Remember, it's a former military base. Naval base. Okay, efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly every work. Okay, that's the Watchman's Blessing, where basically the, you suppress free will in order to increase efficiency. Kind of a light-based hive mind, with productivity being the only thing. And that is actually the Watchman, by the way, in the uh, other two games Kennedy writes. It is the force of absolute and merciless order, which will produce efficiency at the cost of all other things. Which is one of the reasons I call him the Demiurge. They are singing hymns of unfamiliar words. Hard-faced royal marines watch you carefully, barring entrance to your heart. A plaque by the station is being defaced with orange paint begins to make the original description. Station 5, Agjon. Who just speak with authority? Deliver the... Okay. They are on Geode. Okay. You have a port report. The marines are watching. Send the, uh, pink stone in. The stones, marvelous. The bazaar is the enemy of our light, and the enemy of anyone with eyes, too. Nasty, greedy, tentacle thing. Well, our light will soon sort it out, you'll see, because you have eyes, and wonderful eyes they are, if I might say so. Light enters through the eyes, so basically contamination, too much light exposure to whatever this is, this false light within the geode, um, will in fact turn us into one of them. This is why we want to balance off the military and these guys, because we don't actually want the Empire to be the dominant forces. Empires without enemies tend to be rather nasty bastards. They only give um, rights. They only give rights when they feel insecure. Like now, when the Empires believe that they've established full order, what they believe, they no longer have to be nice to us. They basically treat us like the slaves they think we are. Okay. Stone Rivers will help. When we reward those who help us, here, a bundle of Nantanos, here, a monograph on perception, and here. He leans forward and kisses you once and eats eyelid. As you draw back, the world has changed. You're always, ah, been infected. Beneath was a place where the laws of the sunlight world did not apply, but now, somehow, you can see it. Is this chaos or freedom? Quartermaster director labors to pick up the stone. The Z is quiet. The geo glows. You have a thousand echoes. We have enough for that ship. We may have sold our soul for it, mind you. We no longer have any sink stone. We have gained one secret. Gained one mirrors. Gained one searing enigma. Truth burns. It's true. You've delivered the last load. You've now rising supremacy, the dawn machine, the light. It's pretty. Yearning, burning. The sun, the sun, the sun, it's the sun. Yep, we've joined the Watchmen. Again! I mean, when we get back to uh, Cultist Simulator, we'll be doing Lantern Apostle, which is us joining with the Watchmen. And in Book of Hours, we're doing that with the Grail, kind of almost the opposite. There's no real opposites in the Hours. There's actually... um how to put this contrasting now the false light is a problem in that we have to return the sunlight but that's an entirely different game so let's move on to this one meanwhile 
Give it to authority. The Commod Commodore may be able to do so. Give me a few months. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open fellow in an immaculate navy uniform. His office is equally handsome. He overlooks a glittering interior crystal clip. It must be well lit, as any study in the neath. He deflects questions about the purpose of insulation. Classified, you know. But Smiles offers you, offers you tea, mis, mid, uh, biscuits, and mineralogical antidotes. The biscuits are quite good. The antidotes are the blend of one into the next. You find yourself nodding and jerk suddenly awake. The Commodore is smiling. Your cup is empty. You feel well, a little euphoric even. Come back soon, he says softly. Yep. This is how they infect you. Because order, order makes you feel secure. It makes you feel like there's a purpose. Order against chaos is actually not opposed because chaos is much more vaster than any order could ever hope to encompass. No, what order is is a small island in the chaos. So what the light ascendancy here, the light machine is trying to do for us and everyone else in the Watchmen, even the goddamn game, uh, other games, is they're trying to make us feel secure by taking away everything that could cause issues, all the chaos within us to be part of the machine, Dawn machine. Anyways, memoir, Sunstroke, it's a bit hazy. It's all distant shores. Yearning, burning. Okay, but also the light is good for removing terror. Okay, so Pelshin element of the dawn from the Commodore. The Commodore welcomes you, smiling through the Mechlet office. Crystals go on the wall. Of course, glad to help. We need to cover expenses for an element. The light only produces so much, you know. We have that. We have Crew 7. We have vital intelligence and 50 supplies. We can't even care. Yeah, we're going to get a bigger ship. Engage an officer of the Karnak Exiled. Dark Melbourne said, Mumble, mumble, take me to the no longer welcome here. I will show you where you need to go. This is mirrors and pages. You don't want any money? We can do that. Welcome aboard. Here I am. A ship, I suppose, is always here and never there. Because you were there, becomes there. Point your officers by dragging. Okay, cool. Let's check out officers. Who are you? You are our first officer. Now, the first officer we have now is Mirror 6 Veils 3. Mirror 6 Pages 3. So we're probably going to do that. But let's speak to her. I invite her to dine with you. Ask to remove her glasses. You'll need to tempt her with the very guyest gossip of the Z. But don't ask. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to have her. Okay, we're going to have her. Let's talk to her. She removes her glasses, folds them neatly, and places them on the table. To meet your eyes, her own eyes are marvelously bright. Remember, light machine. Irises are amber. The whites seem to be flecked with gold. Yes, she says. I've been touched by the dawn machine. I believe you already knew that, or you wouldn't have to ask me to remove my spectacles. I might be wrong. In either case, nothing has changed now that you know. We are still wary of each other. He taps her thumb against her index finger. I am always the same, do you see? That's the nature of order. Anybody devoted to order will remain unchanged by external circumstances. This has both positive and negative attributes. Obviously, you don't change, you don't learn from experience. You do absorb data, mind you. It doesn't change you. You became basically a part of the machine itself. And but of course, you're also unshakable in a lot of ways. Now let's I, I do not change. I proceed in the same path I always have. I have one choice and I will be content only when I have, you, I have no choice at all. Let's see. Let's eat. Let's talk. You promise me something special and I will give you a little I have in return. We lost one supply. Ooh, that could be a problem here. You gain one searing enigma. Oh my god, you gain more mirrors. Okay, cool. All right. Protest. The journey's destination. Each choice in the future will depend on this one. The ship goes where the captain sails, and you're the captain chooses to sail. Except she says, she's right. If nothing has changed in response to your choice, then your choice is that of a pawn chooses to move forward. Very out of your cabin. Um, no. Good lord. Increase your mirrors. She's doing... Oh, she all wanted a meal in chat. She's doing philosophy on you. Do we accept that... The journey is the destination, or do we accept that there's only one, also she seems to be a vampire, um, would we accept there's only one path forward? Now, this is probably going to determine whether or not we align with chaos or order. Now, I'm more of a chaos person, but we seem to be doing an order run, so let's do that. I hadn't expected that. She picks up a knife and fork. Being mouthful, she tells you something the laws. Nature, nature of light revealed to the operation of the dawn machine. I enjoyed this, she the meal. We should do it again when you're ready to talk about the salt. One secret, one extraordinary implication, and gain one mirror. Cabin. All right. Certain direction. We need unlock the gods of sea, storm, and salt. That is, we need salt attention. Unfortunately, we burned that off a while back. Okay. So we also definitely have enough to get the damn ship, which is what we sold our soul for, by the way. Um. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's see what we got for time wise. All right. So. All right, I'm feeling like we accomplished a lot this episode. Kind of went a little crazy. And we have a... All right, we have a vampire of light. It's 
awesome, which basically means they feed on chaos. I mean, do they? Yeah, they give light. So light vampire in the way that, but it's reverses. Most vampires are dark, and that we have they project light, order, safety, security, and remove the passion that most vampires are known for, the bestial passion. So basically, yeah, we have light vampires. That's interesting. Anyways, yeah, fortunately, I don't have anything to sell. All right, but we're really short on food. Three food. That was not a great choice. But I think we have to send. We have to come back. All right. Current. Whoa. We are. Seriously. We need to follow. Just follow the coast north to the harbor. Where do we go to Garden? Now. We can get six supplies. We make our way back here. Hmm. We only have three right now. If worse comes to worse and we head to Mangrove. Next place we can buy supplies. We can probably buy supplies at the harbor. If not, then we can't do the Quicket Haven. So it's actually shorter to Mangrove than it is back to London. And if worse comes to worse, we'll have to find we'll have to risk being able to uh buy supplies here. Alright, so we're headed to Mangrove. Basically means that we're gonna be heading in this direction to Mangrove, and probably when we get there, we'll end the episode. And I'll have to, you know, figure out what else we're gonna be doing. Hmm. Alright, fuel's not an issue, strangely enough. But we finally have our our space back, so I don't have to keep tossing it overboard. Uh, this was all terribly interesting. Um, like I said, I think we got to head into a grove. Wow. Is our old? We got most of it back again, but we've only three supply. All right, mangrove it is. Get this back. Let's get this puppy rolling. We have aligned ourselves with the vampires of light. We have come not to take your life, but your free will. But you will be glorious when they do. You will know so much. You will know everything, but then know that your knowledge itself is the prison that holds your free will. You will know that you have a purpose. You will know that the light does not love you, but it, it accepts you. Now, sometimes I think my exposure to some occult principles has seriously altered my uh, um, consciousness. Oh, fuck, no. Okay, do you guys have food? No, no, we're leaving. I think that the access point's up here in the north. You know, I'm thinking investing in the veils is a really good idea. So there's a vortex up there. Okay, let's check out this place, shall we? Can you think maybe my ideas are not great at the moment? Port Carnelian, London's first undersea colony, sweats under a blanket of uh, hunt southern heat. To the right of the dock, the sapphire mines yawn. To the left, the governor's house stands. Prim is an eldritch mansion. Beyond lines the fungal jangle. Fungus again. Closely in white and bud. Visit the Imperial Tea Shop. Behind the, it costs 20 echoes. We will knock with terror. Supremacy, affairs in court night. Unlock with no more with no more with zero part okay. Talk to a tiger in the blue bazaar. Get room about the so. You can pimplets that Conte expel from Port Carnival following a Gaelic incident. Only one remains behind, not in official capacity. We got a lot. Insinuate an agent, we got that. The place is thick with spies, we have a networks. We can't see, thirty five percent chance. We'll let your agent place and tap your network for information. Do it. Success. Your agent vanishes in the Cranley crowds. Within a week, they have found lodgings, friends, and rivals, and victims. Hey, okay. Bales challenge. We have Bale. Bales. We are stealth. We are spy. Hundred echoes lost. Networks. Court Carlian. We've lost one. Networks. If the Mac agent, we'll have to get another one. Okay. But let's hit pairs. Uh, I don't have anything yet. Find out what your spies need. Okay. Cool. Uh, network, you'll need something. Find out what. Network's opportunity quality is now 46. Ah, echoes. Money buys secrets. And network alone may increase. Bait. Okay, we have this. Two secrets. Seek another opportunity. You can't, simply can't obtain what you need. You know what? We have those two secrets. And the secrets would prove us two veils, which is good. But well, we don't want to burn too much money. Um, 50. Hmm. Money or bait. Let's do bait. I'm going to go for the... Hook, line, sinker. No spy can resist these secrets. Maintain a shred of personal spec. Your query betrays himself. Your agents pursue him into the fungal jungle. A matter ends with knives and violent shadows and blood on the stocks. Opportunity is gone. You've gained one network, so you've lost two secrets. 
Okay, do we have anything else? Peak intelligence. Uh, no. Find out what quality your spies need. Don't know if you can actually... You have two. Through your networks. Diplomatic agent insight. Storm's attention. Seeking of opportunity. Among the years is troubled. Jumper's short flaw. My ears are full of thunder, she says. Ah. Locked. All right, we're going to try that. Doesn't stand your own sleep crackles into some thunder. She has suffered from this package of gouged colonite bones in her doorsteps. Cursed sent by rivalry, share a bottle of black wine, the stories of your dreams, the spheres of lightning, the voice of thunder. Prickling weight of the air before the first downpour. Though she sleeps soundly, she wakes revived. We gained. We burned it off, but we gained another network. Okay, yeah, we're doing spy stuff. Seek intelligence. Too risky. Find out what you need. Can we do it again? Echoes, elucidation. Tales of terror. All right, so we'll have to seek another opportunity. All for now. Okay, the opportunity's gone. We'll figure out something later. But yeah. Mm. We are playing the spy game. Also, we desperately need to know. Thank gods. We have inexpensive supplies. We're going to have to buy them here. Sapphire Exchange? Ooh. Sell mushroom wine again. Not much. Um, There's the dark. <laughs> Remember the first time we did this? Basket? Oh, god. How much do we sell this stuff for? Okay, we got. All right, I think we're ending the episode here. We've got a freaking full... All right, no, actually, we've got a few minutes left. We've got a freaking full cargo hold, a lot of cash. Thoughts? It's the same as Wolfstack. The sound, they're different. Oh, my God. I don't even remember how much you can sell Spolus root for there. But, yeah. All right, stuff has happened. The hell? So, at some point, we need this ship is available to players who back some of the seat and navigate to higher, become available as DLC at a later date. Okay. Really? Uh, bleh. Where the hell is the port report? Influence of the colony is great. Let's see. Go up to Governor's Rule, bide your time, insert agents, broker an ions of tigers. All right, perhaps not. All right, we're not here yet. Okay, so call it to Governor's House, call it the bookstore, Vincent Players. Okay, seek intelligence. We have 45% chance we don't really think we can do that. All right, so we'll burn 20 echoes and lose some terror. Terror is located at 25. Let's try it. Five terror for 20 echoes. It's not bad. The imported dollars from London with the tea's local, blue and smoky. The crumpets are warm. The tablecloths are white. You can almost imagine you were back in Veil vale Garden, except for the town girl lies in the divan. Elapsed tea from Azure Bowl complains about the recent nostalgic trend of poetry. Yeah, I understand you. Okay, so, yeah, terror's down. Call it Harcrest House. So let's talk to the governor. We have one report. The governor's very, very busy. Attache offers you a bowl of sugar pu sugared puffballs and explains the work the governor does among the natives. they got to keep them happy. After all, they are tigers. They will eat us. We got that. Influence affairs, find out what your spies need, seek intelligence. Okay, so basically we grabbed the um, port report, and it's going to be good. I think we're going to need to buy... If we buy the supplies we need, let me check on the map. Okay, Port Cardinal is a major port. Um, question is... We probably... We probably could weave our way back up to the Mangrove Cow. Let's grab the supplies there. What we need. We have all the fuel we possibly want at the moment. Um, but we might want to buy a couple of there. And then basically we'd curve through the darkness section so we can see if we've missed anything. Basically, we do this. Mangrove, Port Cicel, whatever. We can find stuff out through here. Uh, so much here. I think that's... We have so much to do here. The port is a major scenario. We have um, some serious, serious, hang on, some serious thoughts about what to do at this point. Ooh, I mean, I'm just kind of bouncing around, entertaining myself, but we have some serious thoughts about how we're going to progress here. Hmm. Like I said, I think what we should do, and I'm going to make a, I'm going to do what I do with Book of Hours. I'm going to think hard about how we're going to do this. We have a lot to do some calculations about here. 
Um, we've lost Mutton Island. We lost Hunter's Keep last time. It probably feels like it's going to slowly progress like that. Salt Lions, we took the last shipment to Grand Geode, and we've joined the Vampires of Light. So, yeah. And whatever the flares were for, I'm assuming it was Visage, since we couldn't see into the, um, uh, uh, shouldn't see inside the structure. Oh, unless we can buy some at Port Carnarly, and we're basically going to have to, uh, we're basically going to have to, um, Hold off and do that later. We might actually hit. We hit the. We'll hit the melting isles from below. I mean, to get some of this darkness off. Then we'll head. To, then we'll head. We have fuel. Have fuel and supplies. We'll head to Port Seal. Hmm. I have a lot of port reports coming in. Demu Island. Hmm. Whether we circle around and make a long sweep trying to get more uh, port reports. Now, port reports, the places we already have, only give us a little bit. Basically, it might pay for the fuel. But so, if we don't have an actual purpose, we may want to not want to consider doing so. Also, we've already done all of these except for the canal. So, if we go to melting, if we don't actually have to um, head to melting isles for the stuff anymore, we could head right to the canal and then head right to fall in London with the fuel and food that we get here. That would probably be more than enough. And we may want to consider taking some taking some uh, emeralds in. Is that actually? I'm pretty damn sure that we can sell them into Fallen London for some serious cash. We don't want to put too much in right now, but if we do a standard shipping run between Port Carnelian and London, buying and selling them, that yeah, we may eventually get the damn merchant ship doing so. First thing we want to do is get the Corvette, obviously, because I want the second gun. Um, if we're going to make a run like that, and it will slightly increase our hold. So yeah, we have things to do. The, the job of a cap, the life of a captain, is a busy one because you are essentially the god of your small domain, and your domain, your domain is not a secure one because you're the sea, except for the void itself, which is the actual sequel of this um, Sunless Skies. Except for the void itself, the ocean is the most dangerous territory for humankind, or well, any terrestrial life force, any terrestrial as opposed to aquatic life. And, you know, aquatic life isn't that safe either. Anyways, this is your captain, Fantastic Worlds, bidding you farewell from the HMS uh, Fantastic Voyages. I hope you enjoyed your trip with us today. We'll see you next week. And, of course, like, share, subscribe, as per usual, and come on back to Lovecraft Country. And, you know, you need, to, you need another, another uh, voyage into the darkness. Catch you later. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the Dark Lords of content and data.